Hey everyone, and welcome to my meditation drawing for today. Um, meditation drawing is a great activity as part of your self-care and creativity is a big part of how I look after myself. It gives me time out, gives me time for reflection, for observation, um, and to really allow all the busyness of the world and life to settle and just gives me that time out. So I wanna share that with you today. In addition, um, the sun is currently in gate 33. So for those who follow human design or astrology, this is really about retreating. And you may have noticed over the last few days, perhaps you're a little bit quieter, or perhaps you're contemplating a little bit more. And so really this meditation drawing is about a creative exercise that will allow you to stop even just for 15 minutes and just allow yourself to retreat, to take a step back, to consider, to ponder, there's a lot been going on. So how do we process all of that information? So as with all my meditation drawings, make sure you have a pen and paper nearby. I'm just using a marker today. I've actually got two colors. I feel like using two colors, two shades of blue. I've got my pad here um, and what I will do is I will guide you through this whole process. I'll guide you through the meditation and I'll guide you through the creative practice. You do not need any art experience. You don't need to know anything about human design. None of that matters. This is about 15 minutes of surrendering in a world that is continuously going and continuously producing and going out there and getting what it is you think you want. How do we come back to ourselves every now and then just to realign and make sure actually we're heading in the right direction? Actually, we have something to say. Actually, our story is true. Or instead, it's just a collection of busyness and madness and relationships and all these sorts of connections. So my advice is to settle in. So just sit back into your chair. We're going to do about five minute meditation now. So just sit back into your chair. And really close your eyes if you feel comfortable doing that. If not, just soften your gaze somewhere near in front of you. If you need to do anything to get comfortable, do it now. Grab a cushion, grab a blankie, grab a cup of tea. You can pause this. Just really set up a little section in your house where you really want to Give yourself comfort. Feel like you're nourishing yourself with this creative self-care exercise. And just come back to your breath. Just a very simple act of breathing. Noticing the fact that you're breathing in and out. Noticing the fact that there's cool air moving in through your nostril or in through your mouth. Noticing the fact that your shoulders may be rising and falling, your chest expanding and contracting your belly moving in and out, just noticing. Breathing. Noticing. Becoming aware of how you are today in this space at this time. Really savoring being here, being given this time to relax, to take time out. And as you notice your breath, as you notice the breathing in and out, maybe bring your attention down to your feet. And just wriggling or pressing ever so gently, noticing the support of the earth, 
your connection to the earth, really noticing how that is today. And following up through your ankles, your calves, your knees bent in this space, your thighs, your sit bones rested on the chair, sink into those sit bones. Feel the support of the chair. Moving up your back, lying back and feeling the support again. You are supported all the time by the elements around you. So grounding into that support and feeling nourished by that support. Moving back up to your upper back, your shoulders, and even just tensing and relaxing those shoulders just for a moment, letting go of the day so far. Hmm. Moving down your arms to your elbows, your forearms, to your hands, just noticing them sitting on the table, sitting on your lap, the cool air moving around them. Perhaps they're touching or near your belly, focusing your attention there, noticing the belly moving in and moving out. The chest as it moves with the breath, your neck, your face perhaps kissed by cool breeze or warm air in your room, just noticing your ears, the sounds around you, the back of your neck, your head and the top of your head. Taking the whole of yourself in, in this space. And taking a breath together, breathing in and breathing out. And now, slowly in your own time, opening your eyes, looking at your art materials in front of you. And in your own time, I'm going to guide you through this exercise, this creative self-care exercise. And what we're going to focus on today is the spiral. But this isn't a spiral that moves out into the world. This is a spiral that moves inward the inward feeling of retreat, the movement in towards ourselves so we can really sit with and re reflect and process what's going on. So I'm gonna start by just drawing and starting a big spiral that really takes up a good part of your page. And the spiral is moving inwards. So just in your own time, moving inwards. This isn't about producing the perfect spiral. My marker is fully inked, and so I'm noticing straight lines and alterations. And that's nothing really to worry about. This isn't about drawing the perfect picture. It's about connecting the sensation of spiraling in. Just noticing how does the Field create this movement. How does it feel to spiral in? 
going back to your breath. Noticing the breath. Noticing the spiral in action as it moves deeper and deeper and deeper in nature. And just noticing how that is. You may still be doing your spiral. You may have a bigger page, a smaller pen. So just in your own time, in your own way, bringing this big spiral to an end. Just even as you finish, just notice, what was that like? Are there any changes in my body now, having spiraled inward and connected into a deeper place within? And now I'd like you to repeat that spiral any way you wish. You may choose to start another spiral in another part of the page. You may want to do a spiral on top of this one, off center of this one. But I'm going to get into the details today and I'm going to just do smaller spirals all the way through this existing spiral. And as I do this, I want to think about connecting this breath to this spiral. So I'm going to breathe in and out for the creation of one spiral. So if you're doing a big spiral, find your own way of connecting these spirals to your breath. And noticing how it feels to spiral inwards. Your spirals may all be different sizes. They all me might be taking very different shapes, irrespective of re reproducing the same action over and over again. But don't worry about that. It's okay to get things not the way you want them. It's okay to, for things to go off in unexpected ways. This is simply a drawing. It's just a time to engage in this act of doodling with no particular purpose other than making marks on a page, letting our imaginations go with the flow of the pen and the paper. Letting go of the idea that it has to look a particular way. Letting go of the idea that it has to look nice or right or proper. Just come back to the breath. You're really slowing down this action so that it connects with the breath. You might be making mistakes, just noticing what the mind has to say about that and just continuing your spiraling motion. And as you create more and more spirals. Think about what's dominating your thinking or feeling at this time. Are you more reflective than normal? 
Are you thinking about particular circumstances or situations? Are you wondering what's going to happen next? This energy can be about thinking about what's been going on and wondering what's going to work here. What, what am I ready to let go of? What seems to not be working or I don't seem to be enjoying it anymore? Or I feel like I have nothing to say about this or I don't want to speak about this anymore. The voice of the gate 33 is, I believe. So what is it that you believe? about where things are at. Really enjoying this process. Really savoring each spiral. Enjoying it as you move inwards. And reconnecting. If you've lost your flow, reconnecting it to the breath. It's easy to get lost, but it's also easy to find your way back again. And just really enjoying this process of retreating and noticing those feet on the ground. Are they still anchored? Do you still feel supported? How about your sit bones on the chair? Do you still feel anchored into the support of the earth? Are you still feeling rooted and grounded? And whenever you are, just think about this coming to an end. In the last few moments of our meditation drawing for today, so just really noticing how am I going to finish up this today? What do I want to do to make it complete? Am I rushing to finish it so that it will be the perfect picture? Or am I happy to just walk away mid-spiral? Really playing with that today. And connecting in with what this energy might be. And take a step back for a moment as you come back to yourself and take a few moments to look at your image, really breathing it in, really taking it in, absorbing it, and perhaps coming up with one word. I'm thinking about the shells scattered on the shore and thinking about the constant build up and breakdown of the, the coastline and beach. So my word for today is beach. So thank you for today. I hope you enjoyed today's session. I'll be starting a new meditation drawing workshop series in September, September 5th. So I'll put the link below to my meditation drawing page on my website. And feel free to subscribe to my channel or, or like or follow or pass on to anyone who you think could benefit from a bit of time out, a bit of self-care, a bit of space to themselves today. 
take care and thank you.